What's up, Jabo here, and today we have a new video and we have a lot to talk about. And for our first time, we have Fulio. And a couple days ago, he did preview a snippet of a new song that is coming out on his Instagram story. And apparently, in this song, he goes on by dissing NBA Youngboy and the entire 4K trade camp. And whoa, that's when people were like, Man, what's going on? I thought this was not gonna be happening anymore because about a month ago, Fulio did an interview with academics, and in this interview, he said that there is no problem with NBA Youngboy because in this interview, he goes on by saying that a couple years years ago when he did pull up to NBA Youngboy's hotel if you guys do recall it will happen like about three years ago and pretty much Fulio pulled up to the hotel because he was getting some clarification of something that Youngboy said in a song about Fulio what you on and this was way back when Fulio didn't have really much of a big following he started to you know gain some traction months later but anyways Fulio previewed this song on his Instagram story and this is what it said and for our next topic we have fredo bang and boosie and about a week ago if you guys do remember young boy dropped a song i hate young boy he name dropped a lot of people and one name that we did hear him mention was boosie right and well people are surprised by this like what's going on why is he dissing boosie however others believe he didn't diss boosie at all some people believe he did we don't even know if this is 100 true if it was a diss who knows however after the song was going around social media that's when fredo bang went on instagram live and during this live stream he was just like why is he dissing my cousin and this is after he listened to the song i hate young boy and if you guys didn't know boosie and fredo bang are actually cousins well, that's a good tuesday today man it's good <laughs> <laughs> this is my big cousin like that man i need this my cousin like that man other side of that foe better go f that. And the other side of that foe, don't fuck with that. I know something. I know something. You hear me? My shit, we, we over here. You know what I'm saying? We over here. But y'all over here? Y'all done? Somebody better go f with that. I want a joke today. Today my joke day. <laughs> I'm feeling like that today. Don't call my mother. Come on, man. Don't call my phone, man. You can't be dissing the boss, man, like that, man. A boss, man. You can't be dissing the boss, man, like that, man. Whee! They can't be dissing the boss, man, like that. I can't hear that. I can't tolerate that. We as people got to get this shit together. Real talk. If we don't get this shit together, who gonna get it together? It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna never get right. You heard me? Nigga, this the other side of the phone. Come on, man. Don't call my phone the phone. Come on, man. I'm waiting, I'm waiting on you, uh, Lo. I'm waiting on you. Nigga, I stop this shit, bro. Real talk. We as the people, we got to come together. You hear me? And figure out how to move forward. You feel me, man? We gotta move forward. Now, fast forward to a couple days later, Fredo Bank posted this on his Instagram story yesterday, and it says, they kicked me off the show, but that's what happens when you the most hated. And here we have a picture of Fredo Bang, Boosie, and Webby, and it appears that a show is gonna go down, but they kicked him off the show. And later on, he goes on by saying, real dudes don't stop others' money, no matter how much they don't like them, okay? He then goes on by apparently texting Boosie, and it says, damn blood, you taking food out of my mouth, you can't do a show with me on it and it appears that he is no longer going to be performing so overall it is terrible that he is not going to be on the show anymore who knows what is the real reason on this happening nobody even knows could it be about the entire young boy situation who really knows but we do know that he is no longer on the show and he texted boosie telling him that he's taking money out of his pocket so we shall see how that unfolds and for our next topic we have kodak black and a couple days ago he did an interview and in this interview he goes on by denying whack 100's claims that the reason he got shot a few weeks back was because he made previous comments about lauren london after nipsey hustle passed away and well this is what he had to say during this interview whack 100 said that the reason the shooting in la even happened was of your previous statements years ago about lauren london yeah. uh, is there any truth to that 
They love him. Then I watched his, he was like, he was basically saying, man, he see people trying to troll and say that's what, that's why. Like, he was like, man, hell no, nah, man, that's still on that business for real. And it's like, this ain't nothing against whatever um, milk was banging and none of that stuff, right? But it's like, somebody would have intended, intended played like that, like that. It would have been, in my opinion, if that was my people uh, down here. And it was like, something was said about, something was said about, like, you know what I'm saying? One of our great legends who that was the past and somebody came out and stuff, it would have been on site. That's what it was. That that jump over there was, you know, something, what's happening, what it is. And we just straight relax on them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just relax. And that's what that was. And people just, you know, people can't take no ass with me. So, so we got so we to hit. That's kind of like what we get. <laughs> And for our next topic, we have Sada Baby. He said this on Twitter. Fans shouldn't pick sides and rap beefs. It ain't no college student and a 13-year-old Fortnite champ is going to pull a gun or seriously injure any artist when they see him. Y'all going to point, stare, pull your phone, and record from a distance or ask for a selfie. Just enjoy our music while we're here because a lot of that shit is serious and we'd rather y'all stream our music while we're breathing than waiting until we dare to feed us nothing but positive energy. He then goes on by saying, that's why I say I ain't beefing with no rappers because I'm not. I want my fans screaming Big Squad because they love my songs, not because they think it make them an honorary gang member i can handle myself i just want y'all to handle them streams for me and that is it for this video let me know down in the comments what y'all think about these topics and also let me know what y'all think about what sada baby is saying do you believe people should not be picking sides and just enjoy the music that rappers are putting out just because your favorite rapper is beefing with another does not mean you cannot listen to his music as well but people are gonna do whatever they want and i think it's probably one of the most dumbest things i've ever heard of of people not listening to another rapper's music because his favorite rapper's beefing with him but it is what it is hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new hit that bell to be notified every time i upload a video but yeah i'm out